The penicillins were the first antibiotics to be isolated and used clinically in 1941. Over the years, their structure has been repeatedly modified to deal with the problem of resistance to penicillin and also to extend their antibacterial range. They are a class of antibiotics known as beta lactamases which work by inhibiting cell wall synthesis. And their structure looks like this. We have to look at the overview of the bacterial cell wall. The bacterial cell wall has a sugar or glycan molecules cross-linked with peptide chains, hence the wall is known made of peptidoglycans. The gram-negative cell wall has a peptidoglycan and an extra outer membrane which is absent in gram-positive. Then the peptidoglycan consists of N-acetyl glucosamine and N-acetyl muramic acid. What is the mode of actions of penicillin? All beta-lactam antibiotics interfere with the synthesis of bacterial cell wall. Rapid cell wall synthesis occurs when these organisms are actively multiplying and beta-lactam antibiotics are more lethal at this phase. Penicillins inactivate bacterial transpeptidases and prevent the close linking of peptidoglycan polymers that is essential for bacterial cell wall integrity. This results in loss of rigidity and susceptibility to rupture of this bacteria. Penicillins also bind to and inactivate penicillin binding proteins which are involved in cell wall synthesis and the action of autolysin in presence of penicillin further weakens the cell wall. Penicillin binding proteins are present in the outer cytoplasmic mem membranes. For penicillin to work, it has to go through the cell membrane by the highly porous peptidoglycan membrane and to enable the beta lactam ring to interact with the binding proteins. The outer membrane of gram negative bacteria presents action of penicillins in big molecules to go through by inhibiting their movement. Penicillins can be classified as narrow spectrum and broad spectrum penicillins. In the narrow spectrum we have natural penicillins and these include penicillin G and penicillin V. And also in the narrow spectrum we have very very narrow spectrum penicillins such as antistaphylococcal penicillins for example, methicillin, flucloxacillin, dicloxacillin, nephcillin and oxacillin. In the broad spectrum, we have those with extended spectrum penicillins and anti penicillins. Extended spectrum penicillin involve amoxicillin and ampicillin, and anti penicillins include piperacillin, ticacillin, azlucillin, mesluzlin, and carbenicillin. We have also beta lactamase inhibitors such as clavulanic acid. Solbactam and Tazobactam. Pharmacodynamics and pharmacokinetics of penicillins. Penicillins penetrate the cerebrospinal fluid and ocular fluid to a significant extent only during inflammation, but normally they don't cross the blood brain barrier. Gastrointestinal absorption of penicillin may be decreased in the presence of food. And indications for penicillin include can be mastered using this mnemonic pneumococci, streptococci, meningococcal meningitis, listeria, anthrax, syphilis, tetanus, trench fever, pastrella maltocida. Resistance to penicillins. Some organisms produce an enzyme called penicillinase, which inactivates penicillin by attacking the beta lactam ring, which is an essential part of the penicillin. Natural resistance is found in organisms such as cells with no peptidoglycan, chlamydia, mycoplasma, mycobacteria, fungi, viruses, and pseudomonas. Acquired 
resistance is found in organisms which produce beta-lactam and re reduce permeability to penicillins. Penicillin resistance, penicillinous resistance penicillins include cloxaslin, oxaslin, nafslin, dicloxaslin, and mexoloslin. We start with penicillin D or penzyl penicillin. Penicillin D is a narrow spectrum antibiotics which is active against gram positive bacteria. It is destroyed by gastric acid and less than a third dose is absorbed in an active form. Absorption from the intramuscular side is rapid and complete and also undergoes very rapid lunar excretion, therefore requires regular injections at every four hours. Penicillin G is active on gram-positive cocci such as pneumococci, streptococci, and except staphylococcus faecalis and non-penicillins producing staphylococci. It is active against gram-positive roles which are aerobic like bacillus species, also clostridium perfringens, diphtheria, and listeria species. Gram-negative aerobes such as gonococci and meningococci Anaerobes mostly exempt bacteria is flagellis. It's also active against Trebonema pallidum and Leptospira species. Then phenoxymethyl penicillin, phenoxymethyl penicillin or penicillin V, has adequate absorption orally 30 minutes before a meal. Flucloxaslin, and this is a penicillin resistance penicillin almost used exclusively for treating staphylococcal infections. It is ineffective against methicillin resistant staphylococcal aureus. These ones only respond to vancomycin and tacoplanin. Broad spectrum penicillins. These ones are inactivated by beta lactamases and have a broad gram negative coverage. They include ampicillin which is effective against a number of bacteria including Salmonella, E. coli, Shigella and H. influenza. This can be given orally or as an injection. The next one is amoxicillin, which is very similar to ampicillin, but has a better absorption and a smaller dose is required. Co amox club or amoxicillin with club lanic acid known as augmentin can also be used. Some bacteria produce beta lactamases capable of breaking down both ampicillin and amoxicillin together with other antibiotics. So when combined with club lanage, this prevents the breakdown and enables it to destroy beta lactamases producing bacteria. And this one is commonly used for endocarditis prophylaxis and those who are allergic to penicillins can take clindamycin and azithromycin. Extended spectrum penicillins or urea penicillins. This include azelocilin, piperacillin and ticacillin. They have almost the same activity as Ampicillin, but are also effective against Pseudomonas aeruginosa and Proteus morganae. They are inactivated by some beta lactamases and are not effective against gram positive organisms. They are not absorbed from the gastrointestinal tract and must be given as an injection. And these ones are reserved for serious infections with Pseudomonas or when the causative organism is not known. So you can increase the duration of action since they have a half level. 0.5 hours by using a higher dose combining with probenecid which is an uric acid that blocks renal circulation of penicillin and also administering in IM deeper form. The availability of penicillin is that there are some which are only oral like amoxicillin and augmenting carbenicillin, penicillin V, others are parenteral like piperacillin, ticacillin, carbenicillin, and others are found in deeper form like procaine penicillin and benzadine penicillin. The side effects or adverse effects of penicillins are remarkably few since these penicillins are free from toxic effects. Since the station rises, either as a result of contact with drug or after systemic administration, pain and rarely abscess formation may be seen at the site of injection. Acute anaphylactic reaction rarely occurs and can be fatal. And also, neurotoxic effects due to GABA antagonism with high concentrations can also be found.